afternoon everyone so our next topic to cover is in the previous session we learned monomial by monomial right so in this topic we are going to cover basically polynomial by polynomial so in that also our first thing to cover is multiplying a monomial by a polynomial so monomial is also a polynomial so it suits the heading so the first thing is this. So let's multiply minus 3a cube into a square minus 2ab. So let's see what is it. So how can we multiply? We can multiply this using this distributive property. Now what is the distributive property? Distributive property. So I hope you all know what is distributive property. a b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c this is the distributive property i hope you all know so we are going to apply the same distributive property and solve this sum so let's see answer minus 3 a cube into a square this is multiplication sign do remember and minus 3 a cube into minus 2 a b Okay, so using this thing, we are going to do it. Okay, so let's see what is the answer. Okay, so you all can scratch your head for some time. Okay, now I'll tell you with the answer. Because if I tell you the answer, then what will be your joy of solving the sum? Right? So I don't think I should reveal it, right? What it should be done. Shall I? Okay, so let me do it. So I'm, uh, sorry, is equal to minus 3a, 3 plus 2, 5. Okay, the sign, we'll think of it. First, we'll do this. Then we'll think of the sign and all. All right? Okay. So all agree. Uh, so with this minus three into minus two minus into minus is plus, so it is plus three two is six. A to the power four and b because a a we have done we have done using the law of exponent a to the power m plus a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Right? So what is the sign now? Is this the point to think now? What is the sign? We have already done this. Now what's the sign to be, you know, so we got the answer minus 3a5 plus 6a4 to the power 4b, to the power 5 actually. Now is there any sign to put over here? So the thing is, actually I would basically go with again when we wait. What is the sign over here? It's minus. So we saw when it's plus, the sign is plus. So when it's minus, is the sign going to be minus? Yes. So we are going to actually use the minus sign. So when minus into plus, it's minus. So it is minus. Okay. Now let's see whether our answer is correct or not. Okay. So that is factorization. For the time being, you just notice the steps which I'm going to follow. And then we'll see what is factorization. Okay. So good. So minus 3 I have taken. A cube. So I can take A4 also. It's about 4. Can I take? Okay. Alright, so the answer we have will be a square minus two a b. Yes, so we have received this answer also.
Hmm, I see. This will be minus or plus. Can anyone think of it? Whether this will be minus or plus? See, I have done the factorization. Now, if I'm taking minus over here, then minus to minus is plus. This is not putting this thing. Right? But over here also, minus to minus is plus. So, this is basically plus. Now, why did I put minus over here and then again changing to plus? It's so confusing, right? I don't want to confuse you all actually. That's not my, you know, aim. It's to clarify you all, not confuse. So, we have to use plus over here. Now, why I have to use plus? Because when we do the factorization and check, we are even getting that minus 3 to the power 5 plus 6, 4 to the power 4 base, minus 3, 8 cube. If we go ahead, then it will be a square minus. See, minus into minus is what? Plus. So, we have to use the sign of plus over here. Okay? Right. So, I hope you all understood this also. This I have done by checking it. But actually, the sign to use is plus. Alright? Plus, plus. So, this is your final answer. Your answer is minus 3 to the 8 to the power 5 plus 6 8 to the power 4 D. So we'll be practicing more sums and then you'll you know get clarified further. Next is multiplying a binomial by a monomial by a polynomial. So what in this case you should do is 6x you have to split it to x and then split it to 10 and my plus 10 by first split it to x and then split it to 10. So 6x into x plus 6x into 10 plus 10y into x plus 10y into 10 is equal to 6x squared plus 60x plus 10xy plus 100y. That's your answer, right? Now, if you have to arrange it further, then I think this will be actual thing which the answer is this is your answer now let me explain another sum of monomial by polynomial okay because in last time i think you all got confused this is you know appropriately i'm going to explain you let me take one example okay five simple example <coughs> for this Answer is equal to 5a into a plus 5a into b is equal to 5a square plus 5ab. This is our answer. Done. Okay. See, a into a is a square. So, that's why it's a square. And a into b is a b. Okay. Now, practice makes a man perfect. This is a very common, you know, quote or proverb you have to. Let's multiply it. 5 minus 2x and 3 plus x. So what you are going to do, as I had informed you earlier, 5 we are going to split to 3 and then to x and then minus 2x into 3 and then to x. So 5 into 3 minus 2x into, sorry, we have to be first to with 5, right? It's going to be confusing. 5 into x, then minus 2x turn, it will be bad otherwise. Minus 2x. X is equal to 15. Hmm, this 5x minus 6x minus 2x square. So we have actually done with the answer. Now you see something. This and this, these are like terms. So we can further do anything with it. 15. This 5x minus x is minus x minus 2x square is equal to minus 2x square minus x plus 15 the order to arrange. 
so we have basically solved it now another question will appear in the middle and that will just break down all the charm of what we were solving minus 2x square minus x plus 15 minus 2x square minus x plus 15 that was the answer which we got next question p square minus q square 2p plus q sorry we have to solve it <laughs> okay so your answer p square into 2p and p square into q minus q square into 2p minus q square into q is equal to 2p cube plus p square q minus 2p q square minus q cube we are done next sum practice makes a math perfect again we are going to look multiplication oh my god no this is a trinomial but trinomial so don't need to worry just the same procedure splitting 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 oh my god it's actually easy so a into a a actually you can do one more thing if i tell you you can do a a plus b minus c plus b a plus b minus c plus c a plus b minus c is equal to a square plus a b minus a c plus a b plus b square minus b c plus a c plus b c minus c square is equal to now you just try to group the like this minus a c plus a c cancel plus a b plus a b is there okay minus b c plus b c cancel so a square plus a b if another question jumps in then all the charm is gonna break okay i'll be solving it and then the answer i'll write it in short okay now i'm gonna take this whole space for solving a square plus a b plus a b plus b square minus c square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square minus c square is equal to a square plus b square minus c square plus 2ab so a square plus b square minus c square plus 2ab so our answer is a square plus b square minus c square A square cancellation is involved is equal to a square plus b square minus c square plus two ab. Yes, so we are done. Next question you can arrive. Next is x plus y into x plus y plus x plus two y into x minus one. Oh my god! So we have binomial by binomial 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 and then add. Okay. So it's very simple. I'm just going to directly just keep in note. Okay, I'm how I'm gonna solve it now. Boom. Two hmm. x square plus two x y plus x y plus y square plus x square plus 2xy two 2xy two minus xy minus 2y square is equal to 2x square plus 2xy plus xy plus y square plus x square plus 2xy minus xy minus 2y square is equal to like terms like terms like terms plus xy minus xy cancel 
so 3x square plus 4xy minus y square done so we have included all is equal to 3x square minus y square plus 4xy this is our answer all right okay so our next topic is using identities how are we gonna solve for now actually we are done i hope you all understood and this sum minus 3a cube into a square minus 2ab your answer is equal to minus 3a5 plus 6 a to the power of 4b it's actually you know if you do it mentally you'll find it more easy when you go now mentally it's cool if you do mentally but in exam when it comes you do one thing you just do it mentally and write down the answer in some corner and when you go step wise you should but it, should, it is necessary that your mentally done answer is correct and then when you go step wise process you see that whether it's, it comes correct or not okay so this is the thing and the answer is plus and not minus okay remember the width minus over here but still minus into minus is plus understood so by this actually we are done and thanks a lot for your cooperation and our next topic is a weighting using identities till then bye thank you